Welcome back to the show, Reed. How you doing, boy? Uh, I think I'm doing good. How are you? Shit, I'm high on life. <laughs> I could tell you got you bringing out the guns, dude. Open sorry. carry for you, Flexing huh? On you. <laughs> dude, I, I wore a tank top. I I used to wear. I didn't. I was never a big tank top guy. Like wear it in public. Uh-huh. But I, I remember in high school, I wore it like probably like sophomore year. I wore one. Mm-hmm. I was flexing the whole day. My You're arms were so sore after. <laughs> You're sitting there in the on your desk just flexing reading oh, no literally I'd be, and then i'd like raise my hand like a uh, teacher yeah that's me <laughs> <laughs> teach got a question <laughs> yeah come, this guy d- 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 where do i turn it in that box that box <laughs> what do you know about guns teach <laughs> um now speaking of high on life man you know what that's from high on life he's like oh i'm high on life man and he um, says it in like a a, a czechoslovakian accent <laughs> Or maybe it, a Ukrainian. Is it accent. a movie? It's a video game. High on life. It's Grand Theft Auto 4, Liberty City. Oh, really? The one that's like in New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I was playing that yesterday. Was, yeah, like, I thought that was like something that like a white chick has the back on, like on the back of her Prius or something. Oh, yeah, probably. But <laughs> no, like in it's a yeah it's in that, that grand theft auto and it's like the cousin he's like nico bellic how you oh, doing Let's nico's cousin dude, yeah I, I love i love grand theft auto dude. oh dude all of them are just they're top no- well there was like some weird tokyo one wasn't there or am i thinking of fast and the furious yeah <laughs> i think it's fast and furious i don't have think you, it's fast and the furious but <laughs> uh, fast, fast and the furious isn't that how you say it I don't know. I've only seen like two of those movies. Once they started bringing guns and like tanks into it, they became like, like I secret this agents. Was about racing. Yeah, yeah there was, was like, like the first thing? two are racing, and then it's like all of a sudden, like, <laughs> we got to go on this secret mission. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. how can a franchise just change, right? But like, it's all of a sudden, like, it's The Rock shows time. up. Yeah, Vin Diesel. Yeah. You guys like racing. We'll get ready for this mission. Oh, yeah. All no, of them but, end uh, up with cars, too. Yeah. Do you think Grand Theft Auto is a? Because I think they're trying to release a new one. Mm. Supposedly, it's been in talks for like five years. Oh but yeah, it's supposed to be like the United States, like oh. the whole United States, which would be so dank. But yeah, I feel like today, like I feel like people wouldn't be okay with that type of game. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's funny how like GTA I like to let off steam. <laughs> you're one of those people who will just walk around and just cause destruction just, you're just so angry i just go on the grand theft auto 5 and just mow down people i mean sidewalk. i mean people have tried tried to cancel gta so many times but it's yeah. just one of those games that just keeps on living i mean like what joe the- rogan it's uncancelable yeah <laughs> uncancelable cancelable 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 cannibal can Hannibal the Campbell, boom, boom. <laughs> but like GTA Five was such, like, what it came out in 2013, and it's still like Dude, on every single console. Epic. Oh my gosh! Like, I mean, I don't know. There, I don't know. I can't name another game that's been like keeps going onto every generation of game Dude, consoles. Legendary. I remember specifically when I got the game because mm-hmm. it was you. You remember the day too because midget football. We, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> we beat del campo in the playoffs oh i go to the thing i stop it like i think it was like a best buy got the game brought it home oh. <laughs> the best first day thing ever. i see is that girl in the bikini on the cover screen I was <laughs> you're like, like i'm in <laughs> and the first place i went to was a strip club i knew it i knew you were gonna <laughs> first place first place not even a hesitation. Oh my god! I knew you were gonna go there with it. Oh yeah, what is it? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think when I for I think I first got that probably in eighth grade as well. I mean, just to give a little Epic. spoiler, did you finish the whole? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Trust did me, dude. You, did all you kill my dude, anybody at the end? Nope. I have really? lots of money with all three of those guys. Yeah, I kept I, the money. <laughs> I killed Trevor. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he'd I was be like, the one I would kill. Yeah, I was like it. thinking logical with it. I'm like, if I was in this situation, who is getting the chalk, the chopping block? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was yeah. like, it's got to be him. It's got to be him. And I was like, <laughs> Michael, dude, Michael gave me my start. You know, he gave me a job. 
Dude, but then I was uh, like, Trevor. oh, I can't play with him anymore. I know. Trevor is <laughs> like, he's the, every time you change to him, he's always like drunk or getting chased by the cops. Like one time he was on top of a mountain when I traded him, <laughs> he's passed down the top. It's like, this guy's awesome. One time I like changed to him and he was on a scooter. Like one of those, yeah, no, uh, and he was like fired up about it. And he was with like a group of guys on a scooter. <laughs> Dude, there was one that I changed to him, and he's he's like in his truck, full speed down the sewer, and cops are after him. I was like, "Well, oh, geez." Oh, I hate that when you transit, and you're like, "Oh, I guess I'm involved in this now." Yeah, no, but that. So I'll play like I have. So I have GTA Five for PlayStation Three. Mm-hmm. Or wait, what's the newest PlayStation? Like the one that just came out. Did one just come out? Yeah, the PS Five. There's a okay, P- I there's, have... After the PS3, there's the PS4, and then now there's a PS5. There's Dude, too many. There's one. too many now. I don't, know. I don't know which one I have. I don't have a new one. I don't have, like... You probably have the really... PlayStation 3, then. Yeah, probably. But, yeah, that... So I have that, and then I have my Xbox 360. But So I, like, play... I have Grand Theft Auto V, but I also have the GTA 4 Liberty City, which mm-hmm. I personally like that one because it's New York. I think oh, that's yeah. pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, obviously, like GTA Five is way more realistic, way better graphics, and like more to do. No, oh, yeah, it's you bigger property. Like that's dope. Like I'm, I'm, in, I'm investing in the stock market with all these millions <laughs> I have. I'm like, I'm letting it sit there, letting getting a retirement plan. <laughs> I know you get all this money, and you're just like, I got to invest it, or I got to do something. Have you ever blown all your money? I mean, I have like millions because, like, when, if oh, you, okay, yeah. How much money, like, so after the game, like, so when you killed off Trevor, how much money did you, like, end up with both of the guys? I got a bunch of money just because... Millions. It's millions. Yeah, and they they give you Trevor's money, too, and they split it. Yeah. So you have more between two dudes. So I kept the three. So I think I have, like, oh, I don't know how much with the total amount, but it was, like... I think 10 mil each, I think. I <laughs> yeah, I can't say. even remember. It's been so long since I've played it. I but, dude, I, I buy so at. much stuff. I go online. I buy all these exotic cars in my garages. So I have, like, million-dollar cars. I have, like, four of them. I buy a private jet. I'm living <laughs> life, man. I'm living <laughs> life. To- <laughs> got the life by the balls. <laughs> Just living in Los Santos. No, and then Just I, another yeah, day. Dude, Dude, I wake up my like, guy. What does it get for me today? What does Los Santos can do for me? <laughs> you got to take another picture like you did with the Minecraft picture. Just another oh. day in a beautiful game. <laughs> yeah, I played Minecraft there because um, I recently went to Idaho and uh, uh-huh. I played Minecraft. I had it on my other tablet. So I was driving down playing Minecraft craft dude, in a way. Dude, it's one of those games where you can just play for hours if you're bored. Dude. Yeah, it never gets old. The only problem is it on my it must it's probably my tablet because mm-hmm. they're old. <laughs> I have a lot of old <laughs> things. Um so the so it lags a lot, a lot of lag, which pisses me off, but I mean I work with it. Yeah, I know. It's probably so one day it's just gonna blow up just because they keep updating stuff on it. So one day your <laughs> your tablet's just gonna melt. Just writing yeah, your probably. <laughs> or just blow no, up. I, I have two of them. I have two tablets. That's that's a that's a flex on y'all. But <laughs> I flex, got two dude. of those tablets. But we got them for like free. It, like my mom had like a wicked upgrade for you know droid. But, uh, <laughs> so I got like a Bluetooth speaker that's like waterproof. Oh, um, we got like two tablets, and I've uh-huh. had them for I had them all throughout high school. Like I still I use them. Like when I was living with my grandma in Sac, that was my TV. I put Netflix. I just watched Netflix on there, and then I just I bring it wherever I go. They're awesome. It's like a phone. It's like uh, a, it's a literally it's a bigger version of my phone. It's just a little bit larger. Oh really? I thought it was. I see. I remember you with a tablet in high school, walking around with that thing. Oh yeah. Well, I used it as a phone for a little while because <laughs> my phone is broken because I could text on it. <laughs> yeah, I have a. I don't use it anymore just because I, I like can't, but I had like one of the first Kindle fires Ooh, and dude, Kindles. that thing, you can't run anything on it anymore. It like really? will overheat and it'll just shut down. And it's like, you can't like, it's awful. And it, it, it kind of sucks with technology, how like it only has a couple years span and then it's just like, well, you got to get a new one and it's going to be expensive. Not the Androids boy no, they yes. last forever. <laughs> A nu- if we get into a nuclear war, this thing won't even be harmed one bit. 
<laughs> one it's bit. Not, nothing's going to happen to it. It's just going to be fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. I'll have great service wherever I go. You'll be Whatever. taking Snapchats of the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, like, like uh, where are all those iPhone people now? <laughs> <laughs> on the away. top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what else you been? I see you got a little goatee going. Shave a little bit. I like it. I like it. Yeah, you should uh, shave. You should shave it up the a little bit. Side, so it's just the goat. The goatee. I could not do. I could not live with that. I would just like look at myself <laughs> in the mirror every day and be like, "What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Why are you the way that you are?" You'd be like Ryan on the office with a goatee walking around. I bet I get some respect on the streets. Favorite cheat meal, go. Favorite cheat meal, um, pizza. That was random, but I knew you were gonna say that. Pizza's mine, dude. Dude, I can't. I did. I cannot go without cheating on pizza. Like it's just like one of those things. I have to have it at least once a week. That's my rule. Oh yeah, I think like, that, I think that should be American. That should be a new like law in the Bill of Rights. I think <laughs> pizza Rights, once a week. Uh, it has to be Declaration this is for of Independence. The Constitution, Bingo. one That's of it. those, <laughs> whatever, whatever is signed on July Fourth, all right? Yeah, that it just builds morale, you know, it keeps you healthy. Oh, dude! And well, I can how, how realistically, how what? So, where's your favorite pizza place? Like, I've seen you get round table a lot. I've yeah, that was you. weird when you were just said to me, <laughs> just, "Oh, Sorry, round picture. table tonight, you're, huh?" You're carrying, you're carrying out a few pies too. It wasn't just one; it was, it was a few. <laughs> I know. Already ashamed walking out with multiple pizzas, and then ah, round table, huh? <laughs> um, my favorite place, um. I like Frank's downtown, but usually I go with the round table because it's easy. Order online. Could you down a large pizza from round table on your own? Oh, dude, that's not even a question. <laughs> not even a challenge, dude. No, I dude. Swear. So easy. One sitting within 35 minutes. If I'm <laughs> oh, hungry. yeah, dude. Now, let's say you're on a budget. Which pizza place are you going to? Little Caesars. Not, oh, I, I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't oh, yeah. Finish your sentence. <laughs> it's not even if I'm on a budget. If I'm on my own, <laughs> I'm getting Little Caesar. People put that down all the time. Dude, I know. Such I a don't good get pizza. It. it is. Go bang for the buck. I mean, I can't eat it like the next day if you have leftovers for some reason. Yeah, no. It just it, tastes you gotta awful. Eat it fresh. It's gotta you be gotta hot. Eat fresh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta be hot and ready. It does. It's does cold it doesn't taste good. right the next day for some reason. <laughs> That's why that's why I always eat it in one sitting. You know, I, I oh, don't yeah, leave got leftovers. To. Yeah, those ones seem like they're easy to eat in one sitting too, compared to a regular oh, yeah. pizza. Dude, the amount of times like when I was in American River, that was like every week mm -hmm. um, on Thursday, I'd get one of those. I'd get a large pie from there. Extra oh, asbestos. oh, oh Dude, yeah. I would I would burn my mouth every single night because <laughs> while I was driving home, I just have to have one slice while I'm driving. So I'm here, burn the shit out of my mouth and my gums, but it was worth it. And then right when I get home, dude, that thing's gone within 10 minutes. Not even a challenge. Yeah, dude. They're, they're you give easy. me some ranch. If you oh. give me ranch with that, that's even easier. Now, are you dude, a little dump that? Are you a little like? dabble in the ranch or are you somebody who just scoops for the ranch dude you you think i'm just <laughs> dabbing no it's getting in there you gotta drench that shit. see i'm a dabber dude i just like a little hint of ranch you're a dabber <laughs> but you're a fool you get in there dude oh yeah i it's an unhealthy amount when i cheat meal dude i'm cheat meal i'm not i'm not just uh, i'm gonna take these on the ranch because the carbs or whatever no it, no way on top you're not even thinking you're not even second guessing yourself not even second guessing it i'm i'm gaining three pounds that night can you remember like a cheat meal where right after you finished you were just like what have i done <laughs> the, the destruction time. after after most pe after after a pizza night <laughs> Because like I've been having like pizza night, like we do a mountain, a mountain from Mountain Mike's, which is a large oh, pizza. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. But dude, I'll eat like six of them so fast <laughs> because I'm so hungry by dinner time, dude. I'll, six of them quick, and then I'm sitting there. I'm like one more. And, <laughs> I but, gotta and do then it. I, I always, I always force myself to one more, and then that's a big mistake. And I'm just like, oh, oh god, what, I, what am I doing? Yeah, dude. Sometimes <laughs> if I go hard, like one night just with pizza, so I'll wake up sometimes in the middle of the night sweating, and like I'll have to oh, get yeah. up oh, and yeah. like drink. I think it's probably all the salt. 
<laughs> dude, pizza just... slides right through me, dude. I'm instantly <laughs> those cheeks need to be on a toilet within 30 minutes. I'm telling you, dude. The rough. I part... think it's because the grease of pepperoni. Oh yeah. Way. Oh yeah, it depend like if it's really greasy, you're you're done oh, yeah. for. Which most pepperoni pizzas are very greasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. There's like the next day after just going crazy on a pizza. If I'm working out, it's the worst workout like I've ever felt mm. in like a month. Like, That's I why remember... I do it on a Friday so I don't work out on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> See, I go, I work out on Saturday because I feel guilty for what I just did. <laughs> and I remember I went on a like a mile like bike ride and i was going up a mountain and i was just sweating and i was just like what have i done this is why we don't do this like in my mind pizza again yeah in my mind i'm like what's your problem dude did you ever in like middle school (laughs) what's going on i I gotta like bring a screwdriver down here and tighten it but have you ever (laughs) Do you remember, like, in middle school when the teacher would throw, like, a pizza party? Oh, like, dude. On, like, holidays. You know how good that was? Just the that feeling, like, oh, we have a pizza party today after class. Like, and you get that little, this much soda and, like, oh. one slice of pie. But, oh, that was just the best days, dude. I swear. I, I hate to break it to you, but at my work, we have pizza days sometimes. Oh, and we just lucky dog. When you come in and there's just a sign that said pizza at lunch today, dude. And, dude, everybody turns into like a second grader. Everybody's like, pizza today, man. Like, let's dude, go. dude, if you tell me, like, in middle school, I was not a very good student and I, was, I struggled a lot. Uh-huh. If I saw a pizza day, dude, my attitude through the roof. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't you, want to get banned. Teacher, from you need that. me to read, you need to read, you need me to read this book by the end of the period. Done. I'll, <laughs> I'll cruise through that thing. Yeah, I, I won't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, I had motivation because of that pizza party at the end of the day. And don't even get me started if there's a pizza party and a movie. Oh, oh dude. Shit, movies, son. too. Dude. dude, any party when you're like in school, that's like the best day what do you ever, mean dude? now if yeah, if you if you came to me right now and you're like hey dude i'm, I'm thinking about having like a pizza movie night like next friday are you in? <laughs> dude, I'm there. I'd be so, don't even say no more i'll be first one there <laughs> i'll show up early <laughs> dude oh oh dude, nothing yeah. better nothing better yeah there's just something about oh like school middle school the last i mean not to, yeah the week before like christmas break like oh. having the party, like getting ready to go, dude. That's a good feeling, dude. I remember this one time. It was eighth grade. I'm pretty sure eighth grade, and it was the last. So like the last day of Christmas breaks, so, or no, the last day before Christmas break. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a secret Santa, like so we all brought in gifts, put it in the middle, and it was like the one that you could steal shit from. So I was stealing everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was that good. But there was like, so there was like a big thing of like, just some people brought like cool gifts, but like someone brought like a big thing, like candy, Starburst. And uh-huh. At that age, dude, I was all over candy. And so every single chance I got, I stole that sucker. I was like, that's mine. <laughs> but everyone was trying to steal it. But dude, and then we had a pizza party. They let us take stuff home. Oh. Like, I, it was like, dude, it was. I don't even know how to describe it. It was like it wasn't even school anymore. It was like do whatever you want. And yeah, I literally, I, could, I took a big jug of like a two liter of soda with me, a couple <laughs> slices of pie. I was like, oh, I yeah. am a king amongst kings right now. Walking home, Ooh. or like on like say field trip, like on the way home, we're stopping somewhere. Dude, oh, those are the goodness. best. Dude, Would just field like, trips in yeah. general, dude. Oh yeah, going to school in the morning, waking up in the morning, knowing you have a field trip that oh. you're leaving for the whole. You don't day. even care what it is. You're just like, dude, I don't get like, dude, I'm it's a in. field trip. <laughs> I am in, and you always tried to. I would always try to sit next to the girl. I thought it was cute, like on the bus. <laughs> oh, always, yeah. try, always tried to get as close to her as I could. But always. see, were, were you the one where they were like, "No, you got to sit up front near us." <laughs> Teachers I did go through like, a little phase. Don't where I even had to think have, about it, Justin. <laughs> I had to be in eyesight. We can't trust you alone by yourself. You're sitting oh, up here, dude. We had some pretty dank field trips, though. I'll be honest. Oh yeah, I've been on some cool ones too. We did. We did a whole bunch of like the obviously the museums since we're like in a gold rush town, like all those. But we mm. went to eighth grade year sunsplash. Um, oh. We went to the what's the Scandinavia? Is that it? 
Yeah. The California yeah. Screamer. Yeah. He yeah. Went on that thing. Went on there. Um. Oh, we went to so many. It was oh, awesome, dude. I don't. I'm trying. I miss. To- I miss going on field trips, dude. Dude, God. I remember one field trip. It was the eighth grade field trip. We went to Six Flags, dude. Just roam the places, but they were just like meet up right here, like at the end of the day. They let you just roll. They're like, hey, oh you're yeah, here at this dude. Time. Oh, I would have been Best in trouble. Ever. I would have been suspended. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. If you tell yeah, me, dude. hey, <laughs> you just have to be back here by five o'clock, dude. I am causing absolute havoc. I'm oh, wrecking yeah. havoc around. Dude, amusement parks going down. I'm talking. <laughs> oh. There's going to be a small fire breaking out everywhere. There, there would. There would. That was the type <laughs> of kid I was when when they said, like, when they let you loose, I oh, was no. loose, man. I was going loose. You went for it. <laughs> I would let it loose. Man. Yeah, dude, that was the field trip, too. I don't know if I've told this story yet that they were, like, on the way home. They're like, oh, we got, like, pick somewhere to eat. We'll stop, get somewhere to eat. I saw that there was a Chuck E. Cheese. And I fought to lie. I was like, we need to go here. I was like, we don't just want it. We I was like, it. you don't just pass a Chuck E. Cheese. Like, you have to stop. Sure enough, there was a lot of people mad at me that we had to go to Chuck E. Cheese. But I was you living got your it way, up. Though? Yeah, living it up in Chuck E. Cheese, dude. Oh, God. That's awesome. Yeah, That's man. Awesome. You can't pass a Chuck E. Cheese. Dude, when we went to Sun Splash in eighth grade, I was going to be like the I was the kid. I was like, I'll go, but I'm not swimming. Like, I'm uh, not, I'm yeah. just not. I was, <laughs> yeah, cool I, literally, I said that for like a week. I was like, I'm, I'm not, not swimming, swim. but I mean, I'll, I'll tag along if you want me to. <laughs> I'll yeah, show I up. Wore it, but I did wear a tank top, and that was like at the oh, age like, yeah. I started lifting a little bit. So I had a little bit of guns, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> not like I thought I was. You I thought, thought I was you looked absolute, like The Rock, though. Dude, I thought I looked <laughs> absolute jacked, but not even close. But, anyways, I wore a tank top in. I was sitting there, and then like a couple of the girls were like, "Justin, come on, come swim." I was like, "Oh, fine." <laughs> I Any, guess I didn't even second guess it. Just like whip off my shirt, <laughs> faces turning red because you're flexing so hard. Just <laughs> I was flexing my abs. I was like, "Come on, stay tight." Popping blood vessels in your eyes, <laughs> dude. I got absolutely fried on my shoulders because I didn't bring. I didn't come prepared. I didn't bring sunscreen or anything. My shoulders. <laughs> freaking red to the brim and that thing peeled so bad oh <laughs> but it was no and then we went to like they have mini golfing there and i was like we got like with, on the field trip you get like a free game of mini golf or whatever mm. per person so i like i went early because i wasn't gonna swim so i got my club early and <laughs> then i was like wait they're kind of having fun on the pool area so i i tried to hide my club behind like a bush and come back to get it later <laughs> Dude, i came back later and they took it and then i didn't get the golf i was pissed oh, <laughs> I was looking forward no. to the golf. Yeah. why didn't you just give it back i don't know <laughs> you were talking <laughs> to eighth grade justin he didn't, yeah. he didn't think, he didn't he think was, things through he was thinking long term like if i hide it here then i'll be able to find it yeah i was like all right i'll hide it behind this bush no one's gonna look there i have my ball <laughs> there and i'll just come back in a couple hours and hit a quick nine <laughs> they just look over this what is this kid doing <laughs> oh, yeah dude, man it's... i'm not a i'm not a water park person i it's uh, the last time i went gross. So, it did that's the thing the i the last time i went was um it was two years ago mm-hmm <laughs> So I was like 19. Oh, yeah. It was the weirdest thing being there as a 19 year old <laughs> walking around. Because yeah, I was like, really, because I went with like uh, Ethan Dom and I was like kind of pumped because I had like this card that was like a gift card, but it had like 50 bucks. So I wouldn't have to pay anything. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dude, I'll, I'm excited. And y'all go have some fun on rides, check out some babes. And check I go some- there, dude. We were the oldest kids there. I was going to say, I was <laughs> Just like, a bunch of little, little kids running around. And I was like, Oh god, this is weird. But we like the rides are still fun though. Yeah, yeah. But it was just but that water, I just know there's little kids pissing all over because I that, pissed in one fir- of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I know the little kids would drop a piss everywhere. I know this little kids doing it because I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> dude, but like the lazy river, dude, I'll cruise around that thing for an hour oh, just laying yeah. back. <laughs> no, what I would do though, I I would <laughs> Once again, it didn't change much since middle school. I would go in the lazy river even a couple of years ago, and I'd go swim underneath and look for people on tubes and then push them <laughs> off in the lazy river. 
<laughs> Wait, you did this when you were 19? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a, <laughs> I was a menace, man. I'm a menace. <laughs> <laughs> to, random, <Don't> <laughs> to random people? <laughs> Well, you, the trick is you stay underwater so they can't see you. And you just, because <laughs> you don't have to swim. All you got to do is go under. The current takes you. And then you bump them. And then you go off to the side underneath. <laughs> bada bit, bada boom. 19-year-old man banned from Sunsplash for throwing kids into the lazy river. I didn't say kids. I said adults. Oh, okay. Adults. All right. So, good thing we clarified I'm a, that. I'm not a monster, man. Oh, I could still see you going up to a kid. And just There's probably a couple little kids. Uh, just no, launching a kid. I almost got in trouble. Like, this little kid kept yelling at me in the one of the pools. And I was like, dude, you're a little kid. I'm an adult. Get out of here. And I was like, it's my turn here. I'm an adult that pisses in the pool. Get out of here. <laughs> I already claimed this spot. <laughs> oh, yeah, good time. Do you yeah, remember? Just... Speaking of like field trips, mm-hmm. do you remember summer vacation as a middle schooler? Like your last oh, day of school. Oh. You want to talk about letting loose? Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, that last day of school before summer vacation. Dude, I could get away. I could get away with anything. I'm the weather's right nice. <laughs> like, oh, you can't weather even focus. Ha- always is perfect. The weather is always somehow. It's like sunny yeah. in like seventy five, and you're just like, ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Don't you don't bring like a your books or something oh, like uh-uh. that, or like I would bring mine just so I could throw it away in the school. Like <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> throw them away. Throw my binders away. Yeah, I remember that was oh. like the cool thing to also do in high school was just to throw everything away. Yeah, I've ever. I would always. Kids sc- I would always scream on the last day of school, <laughs> <laughs> right when the in middle school, in middle school, <laughs> when the bell would ring, when the bell would ring, because we would all be outside on the playground waiting, like talking it up. Oh, hope you have a great summer, all that stuff, <laughs> dude. When that bell would go off, ah! <laughs> I would scream. Oh, dude, what about? I think we talked about this a little bit, but then like. The summer right before school's going back, fair week. Oh, epic. Epic, dude. Epic. <laughs> As and when you're younger. When you're younger. Yeah, not right now. <laughs> no, not fair now. Or like not epic. even like even even high school. Like it wasn't very fun. No, but it like, wasn't mid- at all. I, this is all middle school, man. This is yeah. middle school, the t- time of our life, and we didn't even know it. I was so no, miserable dude. in middle school looking back now. God, we had the life. Man. Yeah, dude. When I think of <laughs> summer vacation and I think of like the fair and it's like doing whatever you want, man. The war dude, the world was your oyster. I would I was a troublemaker at the fair too. In middle school, I bet I you were that. were you somebody Very who tried to rile up the carnies? Yeah, dude, I would always be like I would always, oh, oh I'd try to get the carnies to play like let me play a game for free. I'm like, dude, come on, man. One, just one. And then I'd like go to grab it, like, oh, come on. <laughs> like, and then he's like, oh, okay, whatever. And like, yeah, walk away. You're a carny. <laughs> walk away. Thinking I'm all badass. I'm surprised I didn't get my I'm surprised I didn't get my ass kicked a lot some in middle car, school. Some <laughs> carny just it. beats up this middle school at the fair. I'm th- I can honestly, see it I'm happening like, at the fair, actually. Even like bigger kids, like like high schoolers, I would always try to start fights with them as like a middle school. I'm like, how did I not get my ass just absolutely kicked? Constantly? There's a lot of moments when you look back on life and you're just like, what? how? Because like, I know if I was a high schooler, I would have beat the shit out of that little middle schooler. <laughs> <laughs> you kept talking to me like that. You would have taken him to the lazy river and thrown him. <laughs> <laughs> Drown him in the lazy river. Let his body float around. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, middle school, the um, summer vacay. That that feeling of that first day of summer vacation, where you mm-hmm. wake up, oh. don't need an alarm clock. You're like, man, what do I got planned to do today? Nothing. <laughs> oh, were you were you a first day of school kind of guy too? Were you like first day of school? Let's go. Not at that age. Oh, okay. Like I am now, and like throughout high school, I was fine. But mm-hmm. like middle school, dude. Oh, I dreaded it. The only thing I did like was the back to school shopping because you get the couple yeah, extra the fresh outfits. outfits, dude. You get that outfits. You get some brand new supplies that are going to be gone in a week. Oh like yeah, all these dude. pencils I bought somehow disappear. But <laughs> yeah, I was I, I didn't I didn't really enjoy school that much at that age. I, was, I know I, I didn't. Just, 
I didn't either, but the first like maybe like the first two days you're just kind of like we're back yeah, like, baby new year new me like yeah. new school year i'm gonna be a good student this year and that's some that new fresh real bit. quick <laughs> yeah that ends real quick <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then you're just like why am i here again <laughs> yeah dude but uh, yeah the my motivation in middle school what would you say your biggest motivation in middle school was like to keep showing up and going <laughs> Well, I wanted to be a scholar athlete. So I was just like, let's go. Right, nerd. Dude. dude, no, in middle school, I was just like, I got a reputation to keep. I'm a football player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was one of those kids. Okay. Dude, but then uh, like mine was... later on, it would get like bad to where I was like doing stuff that I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. No, my, my motivation, dude, I had a reputation and it was class clown. You know, I, I had yeah. these people needed amusement, and I was the one to <laughs> I was the one to provide it. That, and then also, I loved, loved, loved chasing girls. <laughs> <laughs> like what kind of like, physically I, and physically. and mentally, <laughs> physically and like flirting with them. But I didn't okay. know how to flirt at okay, that age. It was like I would make fun of them. To, that was like if I made fun of you at that age, like. Uh-huh. If, girls out there that went to school with me in middle school if i made fun of you at that age it means i was crushing all right it was crushing hard yeah if i ever chased you around the school if i ever I chased it. you threw a ball at your head uh tripped you all that stuff it means, called you fat yeah i like things we're meant to be together dude were you ever the class clown because i considered myself like i was i would try really hard to be the class clown were you ever somebody yeah. who would say <laughs> you're like people are gonna love this and you all the to, time and you knew like you were gonna risk it like you could get in trouble but you're like people are gonna love this did you ever do Every it time and then it just totally bombs with the class nobody laughs and nobody I, looks at you i've had that happen a few times dude it like was the, always really, it was during like popcorn reading like uh, reading i would always like someone would call me and i was like okay when someone calls me i'm gonna like completely just uh like obliterate this word yeah and then laugh and i i've done that a couple times like uh, whatever the word was i say it wrong <laughs> i look up no look one's laughing around. i'm like ah <laughs> misread that one <laughs> yeah dude i've had stuff like met like dude everybody's gonna explode with this one i'm like get ready cue it up go for it and then it's like automatically like yeah you're in here at recess today now and i'm just like come on guys nobody <laughs> nobody oh, come on <laughs> come no, on I'm locked up <laughs> sometimes i would tell the teacher come on that was funny <laughs> see i never took it once like no one laughed like i was silent like i was like okay i gotta just be quiet right now <laughs> yeah i would never like look around the room like guys it was just like i would tell the teacher like come on that was kind of funny <laughs> she would just look like no oh. no but uh yeah, I didn't get class clown in the yearbook though. Oh, did that make you mad? I was a little disappointed. Uh, uh, who knows? Because like eighth grade, like towards the end of eighth grade, I was like starting to become a good student a little bit, or like trying a little bit, enjoying enjoying life a little bit more. So I wasn't trying to be the class clown. I think that's why I lost it. You know, I started the season off hot, yeah. and then kind of cooled down towards playoff, but um. Yeah, some other kid. I forget who got it. Some other kid. Uh, I know who got it, and he, you, he, he deserved it. Uh, I was going to say, was <laughs> he, it somebody you were like, he doesn't deserve this? No, he deserved it. He did some shit in, like, assemblies <laughs> like that I would never dare to do. And he did it, and it worked out every single time. <laughs> well, give an example of one of them. What would he do? I think I've said this one. Um, I he think, did yeah, one I think you might have. I think I've talked about, I'll say it again, but it, it was like, he did the, we're all sitting down in assembly and it, we're talking about something super serious. I think it was like drug and alcohol addiction or something like one of those dumbass uh, assemblies mm-hmm. that we had like five times, <laughs> but uh, we're doing one of those and the kid stands, it's quiet. Like after something, everyone's like, kind of like, oh, this is really this deep. And this kid stands up. Oh boy. And goes like this and does oh, the yep, I Jay <laughs> whistle like and he goes like this and then just sits down and dude everyone was no one laughed because everyone was so shocked 
But after when we got out of that assembly, dude, that kid was a legend, man. <laughs> legend. <laughs> there was one kid that I went to school with. I think you probably know him, but we went, we would go to this conference that was like a leadership conference. And it was like, you know, build your character. They had this keynote speaker who was from, I believe, Uganda or whatever. And he was like talking about coming to America, like, you know, just like going to school, doing all this stuff and how he made it. And he was like, you can be whatever you want to be or whatever. And he's all asking people in the audience, what do you want to be when you grow up? And like, people are like, you know, oh, I want to play baseball. I want to do this. I want to do that. It comes to this one kid and he has his hood up like a total edgy looking kid. Oh, and he's man. all, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he's like, I want to be rich so I could boss people around. Oh, wow. And the guy just went, what? What? And like the whole place went silent and he was just all, I want to be rich so I can boss people. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. <laughs> and like, I don't know if he thought like it would get a laugh, but it was just dead silence in the whole place. And he was just like, oh man, there's more, there's more to life than money. And he's all, but I could buy stuff. <laughs> And it was just, dude, it was like the most awkward experience because it was like multiple schools. Like it wasn't yeah. just like our school. It was like multiple people there, like all these people who were like the positive like leadership. I kind of, you know, I kind of don't agree with the positive leadership stuff. Yeah, dude. I No, you got to demean people. You got to bully <laughs> them to submission so they can raise back up. That's well, my I strategy. Mean, I like, see, like, I like it's never it's leadership. never let me down so far. I like the leadership people who are like, you know, life sucks. <laughs> They're like, you just gotta make it what it is. But like some life of them is are a hook there, of shit. Some of them are up there and they're like, you can be whatever you want. Like you could do this, you could do that. And it's like dude, when that yeah. when someone says that you can be whatever you want, no, I'm five eleven. I can never be in yeah. the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> it's like stop lying to me. There's a difference with you could try something. And then you can be something. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's okay to try, but, like, just know that you're not going to be what you think you are. Yeah. yeah, Dude, I remember um, when I was trying to be, like, class con, I would always, I was one of those kids that would always, like, pay, if it was, like, a page number or something, and they said 69, I would always bust out laughing. You would always like, giggle. Nice. But the thing <laughs> nice. was, I didn't know what it meant until oh. like end of eighth grade i didn't know what it really meant but i would always because like i had an older brother and i was like ah 69 nice <laughs> i see you teach like kicking <laughs> back but dude one time my i had this pe teacher i've talked about it like how i got in trouble like for running over girls in pe because it was yeah. all her fault it's all the teacher's fault because she would always like tell me i'm not trying and then i was mm -hmm. trying too hard like figure it out she was like <laughs> supposedly like a professional golfer or like whatever I you were like BS. show me the certificate dude yeah i was like i call bs i've seen you golf swing show me the jacket <laughs> show me the jacket yeah. you won <laughs> let me see the gold jacket <laughs> no but uh she was we were picking numbers for like groups and mm -hmm. i got 69 and it was like it was only like four of us and the teacher and i was like yeah, 69 nice and the teacher's like she looked me in the eyes why did you grow up i was like Oh, Shit. I was like, dude. I'm in eighth grade. This is the best. What do you mean? I'm dude, so that's pissed. always the worst. Is when a teacher just like will look at you and you're like, why don't you grow up? Or being like, you shouldn't be acting like this. Like, act your age. And you're just like, hey, I'm in man. eighth grade. This is how I'm supposed to be acting. I was like, what do you mean? Dude, I remember a teacher that I'm friends with now. Like, I remember I jumped over this like kindergartner who was sitting on the ground, full on jumped. And she like pulled me aside and she was like, you're in eighth grade. And I was like, yeah. And she goes, think about what I just said. You're in eighth grade. Dude, that's like, the worst. You, <laughs> they make like, you think about yeah. your life decisions. <laughs> she was like, you're going into high school and you're running down a hallway, jumping over kindergartners who are like six. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it was funny. She's like, no, it was dumb. Like, grow up. And I was like, damn, dude. Man, what a, what a biatch. And I was just like, damn. And I was just walking back out to the playground, just like, I gotta grow up, man. <laughs> Dude, did I tell you about so my eighth grade basketball coach, me and him butted heads constantly because like I was oh, at like that yeah. I was that I was at that point of my like thing. I thought I was just a hot shot. Yeah. But, dude, so we're 
first he was like a big fan of me. He was like, cause like my dad coached my team, like seventh grade, we lost like in the championship or whatever. And mm-hmm. then this guy takes over and he was like the, he was the, I'm going to give off a lot of info about him, but he was, the, I don't care. He's cool now. Like I, I know I'm kind of, I've seen him around and I'm like, I'm cool. But like, he was the, we had a bike shop, like a bicycle shop and he was the bike shop teacher. But anyways, so he, <laughs> Me and him, like he was, he was like, dude, I'm happy to have you. You're a good player. I'm like, we're gonna, this is gonna be fun. I was like, yeah, hell yeah. I remember it started off real rocky because I remember the first day, um, we're running like a thing, and he was teaching like defense, and mm-hmm. he was like, Justin, I want you to do a crossover and stuff, or and then take me to the hoop, and like he's gonna show us how to cover. Dude, I lay off it. I was working on this move so much. It was like a reverse crossover. Mm-hmm. Dude, I make him go tumbling, break his ankles, and everyone bursts out laughing. I'm laughing while I do like a trick layup. Oh. And dude, that was the start of it. Just embarrass him in front of the whole team because I just broke it. You know, yeah. my, my crossover I have broke his broke him down and then finished. But it went like it started with that, and then it started with like I get. I had remember I was a big fowler up until oh, like yeah. sophomore year. <laughs> Lots of fouls. I would average four to five a game. But uh first game, like I get, I foul out and get a technical on the sideline for kicking water bottles <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> but so that was like the st- and then he's like gets all I'm getting in his face. He's like, we're arguing. And it like continues on throughout the season. And there was one like he was like I was just such a little bitch, me, mm. because like he'd be like, "All right, guys, I want you, Justin. I want you to take a lot of shots." I was like, "I got you, coach." I didn't shoot the whole first half. Every time I got the ball, I'd pass it out, and I'd be wide open because oh. I was just like, "I'm gonna show him up." And I'd pass it out, and he was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> I was like, well, "Yeah, dude." And then it ended up like my dad and him. Got I'll an see you in the after- NBA, pal. <laughs> My dad and him got in like an argument after the game one time, and uh, and then like that was like the end of it because then we had like our last game and like we ended fine, like we ended up losing, but like we had a good game. But and then like we talked like after I was like, now I've seen him like now, like mm-hmm. a couple years ago, and I was like, I was kind of a dick, wasn't I? I was a little bitch, and then we were like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you always think about it somewhere, you're just like, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, remember there's this uh, this lady, and I think she was the nu women's coach like a long time ago and she like had beef with me for some reason (laughs) i don't know why if it like she like i remember i've never i never engaged with her talking she went up to the coach and she went up to a coach who wasn't at the game she tried to say that i went up i went up to her after like during one of the plays and just said f you was this at Enya? No, this was when I was in middle school. And Ooh, so she was like, man, a little middle school beef. And yeah, and she like, like the coach was like, yeah, he came up to me and he said, F you. And he ran off. And then he didn't even uh, say good game to us afterwards. And I did. And like, yeah, she like made up this whole story. Cause like, first of all, I wasn't, I was deathly afraid of adults when I was in middle school. So I, there was no way I would have looked at an adult and like, F you. See, I was the complete opposite, dude. I was really? always like after dude. like baseball games, dude. Like if we were like, you know how like I don't know if you ever played baseball. Oh no, like, I didn't. How like the dugouts constantly chirp at each other, like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, ball four, ball four, like all that stuff. Yeah. Like and then we would like I would do it to coaches, and then like after the game, like ah, eat it, like <laughs> give a elbow into like a hand, like yeah, just shit like that. I was, like, <laughs> yeah, I, and I was just like, and I remember this coach was just like, yeah, you got to, you got to do lines at practice and you can't play until like the uh-huh. second half of the game and i was like i don't even know who this lady is i never even interacted with her yeah she like made up this whole story and she didn't like tell the head coach and the head coach was like gone yeah she told the coach who wasn't even at the game Jeez. and i was just what, like what, i what was biatch yeah i was framed and i was just like what is it about me I your career is in jeopardy at that yeah. age then. <laughs> yeah. accusations tarnishing your name well at first he was like i might have to bring this up to the principal and i told him i was just like you could do that i didn't do any of this like 
but you can't prove it. How are you going to prove it? You know, they always take their doors for it. I've been in that situation. I was like, <laughs> how am I going to prove this? That yeah, I dude, if there was this? like a situation where I knew I was right, I was just like, we could take this as far as you want to because we'll I'm to right. Court if you want to. Yeah, I was like, I will show you everything. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, she had beef with me. And I was just like, I think it was because I had long hair and I was fat. Easy target to pick on. <laughs> Easy target. I would definitely pick on you. You're like, in middle school. Let's get that kid in trouble. <laughs> Dude, in it seems school, like he I cries under a, pressure. I ordered. I would order. <laughs> I ordered diamond earring magnets, the ones that so I could put earrings on, <laughs> like magnets, and I would walk, walk around with those on. This is such a nerd. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing that doesn't surprise me about you when you were younger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, a, like, I, was a, I was a confused kid. We'll say that. I was Did you should figure myself out. <laughs> My favorite thing was when you showed up. I remember to our eighth grade football banquet, and you oh. were wearing a black. I was wearing a wig. I wore a, a wig. Skull cap. I remember that, and I thought that was. I was like, dude, this is gonna be epic. <laughs> dude, it's so so weird I, I totally forgot about that i had i think family members asking like who's this kid in the photos wearing this black wig and i was like i i don't know why he wore it oh i yeah i remember i've t i haven't i haven't thought about that in so long i oh yeah i, I so remember nice. i found it it was like a rocker wig and i was like it was like that night i was like man this would look dope if i put the school cap on top and i was like man why not <laughs> I just, sometimes like on facebook when memories pop up there's like tagged pictures of all of us and i'm just like what was he wearing what was going through his head at that time? And I remember I like never asked you about it either that night. Like I just was just like, I, I don't know. He's wearing a wig. <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. <laughs> oh, dude, it was perfect. There's just weird yeah. stuff like that that would pop up. Yeah, dude. Facebook memories. Like I get, I get, I get a lot of like I used to post a lot when I was a little like yeah, same. in middle school. Constantly just weird thing. I'd yeah. Post like. I have like one that was like pitching tonight, so pumped. Might <laughs> might hit later. <laughs> like stuff like that. I was like, oh my might God. hit later. Yeah, and it was always like spelt so poorly. <laughs> and I just posted it, like I'm sending it. <laughs> yeah, I would always do, but I would like have like football updates, be like, my team won. <laughs> or, I I get those too because you always tag me. Yeah, you tag we were, like 90 people. <laughs> game day tomorrow. Let's go, boys. And it's just we'd always comment. Team. So pumped. Yeah, the let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. <laughs> oh. I just come across times. this and I'm just like, oh god. Good times. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, should we wrap school. this up? Yeah. Middle Excuse me. Hi, Sherman. <laughs> come here, Sherman. Oh, yeah, special guest. Sherman, come here. Hey, come here, little runt. Up here. Up, look. Oh, look. Ah. He's looking for a ball. <laughs> Anyways, Reed, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Instagram at Reed Piercy. You can follow my other podcast at Hatbox Mountain. Just hey, you going to post on there anytime soon or what? Yeah, soon. Soon. I want, I want to see some more movie reviews. I like when you do this. Okay, I'll do, I'll do more movie reviews. Yeah. I got some, you. Like, some scary ones. Ooh, scary ones. I got a couple yeah, of scary horror. ones. Maybe in the tank. Wait, in the tank? <laughs> yeah. I tried to build a tank once. Like like a airsoft tank. Like an airsoft tank. Cause like I saw these like <laughs> videos on YouTube and it was like uh -huh. almost people having like legit airsoft tanks. And I like I wrote down like all the things I want like needed. For, I was gonna go to Home Depot. <laughs> like I didn't have money either. I don't know. I was <laughs> expecting to pay for it, but it was like a whole bunch of plywood, some two by fours or whatever. Uh -huh. It's like I right, had just put it, put it like this, and this. Perfect. I got a, t I got a tank. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyways, you can find me JJ underscore man underscore twenty Instagram, Twitter. Follow this podcast, the show underscore with Junior. Um, follow Hulu Hand Studios on Instagram. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your folks. Tell your moms, please. Um, and uh, read. It's been fun. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>